Sorry, I'm on my way down there and we'll have a couple of days over to this moment though. I'm not too sure what was here before, but they're building something. Looks like it's gonna be at least four stories or three. Um in the square, sixteen twenty one blue with the Dr. Donuts. Uh, looks like housing. Most likely it's going to be housing. I, think that, I guess they're going to tear that down too, because that's... If you look across there, that's kind of demolished over there a little bit. So they might be tearing that down too. I'm not too sure. I always want to show you guys what's going on in the city though. This is in Jamaica Plain off of Washington Street. So... They, they kind of get that shored up too. I don't know if you guys can see that from here. See, the, they got those, um, they got those shores up there so that don't fall down. That's kind of risky. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a temporary thing, I understand, but I mean, any slight vibration can shift those things and something can happen. Uh, I don't, I recommend more, better shoring than that, right? Just my opinion. Like I said, there's no, um, sometimes they have a, like a placket tells you what they're going to build here. I don't see any placket. I don't even see a, I don't even see a street sign to be honest with you. I don't even know what street this is. We'll figure it out though. But, um. I don't, let me see what's going on at this corner right here. I don't know if they're going to tear this building down or what's going on. See, this is on top of See this, this shore, and I, I understand that it's probably temporary. I mean, you just got to be careful. I mean, you just got to be very careful we got shore like that. Hopefully they um, they tied it into the uh, the structure so it doesn't slip out. Hopefully, see that this used to be a sink right there. Like maybe a bathroom sink. One of those wall hung sinks. So this maybe they're gonna tear this down too. Don't know what this used to be. This would be a cafe with maybe. Maybe way, way back. So they, they might take, they may, it's a chance they might take this structure down too. This is William Street right here. At least they have a name up there. Yeah, it looks like they might be taking this down. That, that, that might be something that may happen in the future. They're also doing some, I don't know what they got up going on over there. They got some kind of work going on over there too. Uh, there's no sign or uh, anything that tells you what the or maybe those blocks are okay I think I think I know what's going on so these blocks here are the same blocks over there so they're using that as a storage to, to eventually bring over here maybe they're gonna build more of these over here that's what I, that's what I think that's more likely what's gonna happen so this same type of building here it's probably going to be built over there. So let's look at what this sign says, and that might explain what's going on over there. This is only for 60 wins, though. It's not really for seven brand new homes. It doesn't say income. How do you always say low income? It doesn't say low income on there. I guess we always contact these people down here for more information. Any update on the victim location? Because uh, Dunkin' Donuts doesn't seem to know. Uh, okay, so they're building. They are building some type of housing. Um, I have nothing. I just 
Look at all the ports for the gas meters on the side. So this is this that covers this building here. So this is going to be the seven. What you call the seven uh, apartments? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, very important. See how they get these. Um, the, I guess you call this a dry system on the outside. And I guess that's under the new uh, fire code. It's been in effect for like several several years now. So there's a building that I'm aware of that had the overhang done over a lot bigger than this building they allegedly they pulled the permits through the city of Boston and they never asked them to put a dry system underneath the overhang and the reason why they actually do that because if there's any fire on the porch the um, sprinkler system will put it out so it won't catch the house on fire um, and that's a small, it's a very small area, so they're requiring it there. But I, I haven't seen an overhang maybe 10 times that size done and no dry system. And a lot of people ask questions why. And I, I think I know why, but we'll get, to, we'll get to that one of these videos. See that anytime you build a new structure or if you have an old structure and you do it over more than um, is it 25 percent you have to do it over say for example if this was an old structure right and it didn't have a sprinkler system but i tore down this structure and built it over again now i gotta make it complying with the new code because i i i did a um like a like a tear down and rebuild or remodel whatever you want to call it but somebody's not keeping eyes on that and you know, the city of Boston is paying a lot of people a lot of money to you know if somebody pulls a permit you know the building inspector should have enough should have enough knowledge to know what needs to be done but I've seen a lot of building inspectors that quite don't know that don't have the knowledge like I don't want to name their names, but they work in the ISD building. They, they, they don't have the knowledge of uh, of how buildings should work. and They might have some knowledge, don't get me wrong, but they don't have enough knowledge. Not for, not for working in that field. You know, a guy like me should not know as much as them or more than them, and put it that way. Same with the electrical inspectors too. I, like um, I'm not gonna say the building, but the city of Boston had a building permit pulled through a company from Pennsylvania. I'm not gonna say the name of the company who pulled the permit. These all were master like electricians that were wiring up solar panels on the roof. That's what they do for a living. They know all the codes in and out. They've been doing it for years. A building inspector. I, I don't think he works no more. Uh, uh, Fonseca. That's that's his name. Fonseca. He tried to tell electricians what they were doing. So they asked him for his electrical license because they wanted to prove that he was wrong. They pulled out the code book and said, find that in the code book. He couldn't find it in the code book. So basically it was a, it was a thing about grounding the wires. Now these guys had a different method of bonding the ground, which wasn't wrong. So what they did, they, I'll give you an example of what they did. They ran a ground wire through a, a um, through a connector, cut up a line in the in the um, in the insulation, fastened the screw onto the to the bare copper wire and slid the insulation back to the screw. Now, because you could not see the copper, does not mean it wasn't bonded. It's just the fact that they had a way of doing it where you could not see so much uh, copper. So the electrician was. The inspector was trying to tell them that uh, you have to see the copper. And, and they said, show me where it says you have to see the copper. And he couldn't find it because I don't think it was in there. And they were like, we've been doing this for years this way. never been an issue. And, and I agree with them. If it's bonded properly and this metal screw, the copper, all the way through, and you slide the insulation back to the screw after you bonded it, it's a connection, whether you like it or not. Um, do you know what this building is going to be when he build it? 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, small grocery store and apartments above it. See, that's good to ask questions. All right, <laughs> thanks, man. Appreciate it. So it's gonna be a small grocery store with apartments above it. Makes you know, these guys are doing a. So I don't know if you guys know what he's doing right now. He's he's supporting the forums. So they're gonna support these forums. Nine times out of ten, when you support these forums, there's already rebar on the side there already. So they're gonna make it so when they pour the concrete the walls don't buckle or shift so he's basically showing that up see how you over here you have the finished product with the rebar sticking out so that's basically gonna be a wall looking just like that and then they're they're coated with some kind of protective waterproofing and all that good stuff but so basically he's building the forms for the concrete so probably in another week or so when they all get all this all showed up they're gonna have a, a cement truck i don't know which way they're gonna come in but they, they have a pumper truck and to pump all that concrete in off the hopper into these walls. Sometimes they have like these little, um, what you call those things? Like a vibrator or agitator that levels up the concrete so there's you no know, air pockets in there. It's a lot of work. It's, it's, it's messy, you know, but, you know, it's work. I, I've done, yeah, I know, yeah, I've done a lot of that when I was younger, but not, not now, well, not now anyway. But yeah, that's that's basically what they're doing. So a lot of people look at this and say, "What are they doing?" So all those are forms, inside and outside. They're all going all the way around both sides. They're gonna make sure that they're uh, secured properly. Now in the middle, there's these metal rods. That they, I don't know the name of it. They they tie that together, keep it all from pulling away from each other. So it keeps it all together. Then once you pour the concrete and it's all done, you can break those little metal strappings off and then. I hope I'm springing it the right way. <laughs> it, it, it's more to it than that, but I'm, I'm trying to give it to you in a nutshell. All right, guys, so it's going to be a, a grocery store and apartment complex above. I imagine there's going to probably be some parking in the back, who knows, or on the side. But that's what we have over here in uh, Washington Street. Catch you guys in the next one. I didn't know this was a two way street. Is this a two way street? This can't be a two way street. Yeah, I guess it is. It's a very narrow two-way street. Because you got signs facing this way, and you got signs facing that way, so it's a very, very narrow two-way street. Interesting. All right, guys, I'm headed about here. Just want to show you what's going on in the city. Catch you guys in the next one.